Hi. Hi. Are you excited to go today? <laughs> Not as excited as you are. I'm so excited. We're going to give you a little bit of insight in our lives before we were RVers. Mm -hmm. I don't talk a whole lot about my military service. No. But I was a combat medic in the mm -hmm. Army for 20 years. And I was a member of what is called the Audie Murphy Club. The Audie Murphy Club is an elite club yes. in the Army uh, for non-commissioned officers. And it's actually, if you're inducted into this club, you're considered to be in the top 2% of non-commissioned officers yeah. in the United States Army. Um, just a grueling process. Yeah. To get inducted into the Audie Murphy Club. I was inducted in 2010 and yeah. so I spent my last six years in the Audie Murphy Club. Now it may sound like an individual achievement but it's really not because when you're going yeah. through the process you're being mentored by mm -hmm. other Audie Murphy inductees and people who are already in the club yeah. and they help you through the process and then once you're through it's definitely not an individual <laughs> thing. Yeah. It's all about teamwork. It's all about contributing to your community contributing yes. to the military mm -hmm. and contributing to veteran organizations and that's one of the big reasons we got involved with helping veteran organizations yes. because as an Audie Murphy Club member you're always a member mm -hmm. whether you're still in the military or not yeah. so I am still an Audie Murphy Club member mm -hmm. but I'm not involved because we travel all the time yeah it's hard to be involved with your local chapter of yeah. people when you're and not so there. that's part of the reason that we got motivated to give back to veterans yes and today, the relevance behind all of this is we're going to the Audie Murphy Museum. Yeah. Right up here in, Who knew it was here? in Texas. Yeah. So I'm so excited. It's not a huge place, but a lot of history yeah. about Audie Murphy. If you don't know anything about Audie Murphy, he was the most decorated war hero in the history of the military. There's a movie about him. Yeah. Uh, it's called uh, To Hell and Back. Yeah. It's an older movie. He starred as himself. Yes. Um, <laughs> And he started a lot of other movies. Yeah. Wrote some songs, mm -hmm. sang with a lot of big names. He was a well-versed guy. He was. <laughs> and uh, so we're going to take you along with us today. We're going with some friends. And yeah. we're going to teach you more about Audie Murphy and maybe some more about the Audie Murphy Club, too. Yeah. But this is so exciting for me. Yeah. I can't wait. <laughs> I never get to share stuff like this from our previous life. Yeah. In our current RV YouTube life. Exactly. So, so this yeah. is fun for us. Yeah. Well, we're getting ready to go into the Hall of Heroes, which is the Audie Murphy portion of the museum, which is yeah. very cool. I'm so excited to be here, man. Yeah. And when you get inducted, um, you receive this medallion. Mm -hmm. It's a, a big silver medallion with Audie Murphy's uh, profile on it. And the ribbon is in infantry blue because Audie was in the infantry. So if you ever see anybody wearing this medallion, just in your mind, just know that the person wearing that is in the top 2% of non-commissioned officers in the yeah. entire army, which is awesome. awesome. I can't <laughs> wait to go in here. I'm so excited. I remember you studying for this board. Yeah. And it was painful for me too, because- You, I, you knew it about as well as I did. I feel like an honorary member <laughs> because I had to hear it so much and the you have to memorize his bio. Mm -hmm. and All the accomplishments. All the, yeah, and you can't miss one word. No, it's word for word. And if it's, you mess it up, you're done. Yeah. They say thank you for your time and goodbye. It's it's a it's a difficult thing to do. Yeah. I mean, difficult is is putting it very lightly. It's a difficult yeah, thing to so do. So you studied for months. I studied for months. So thank you <laughs> for helping me because I wouldn't have been able to do it. You should let you. me wear the medal every yeah. day. <laughs> Just the medal. Just, whoa. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you, walking through here, it just gives it gives you a different feeling, um, especially if you have connection and ties to Audie Murphy. Uh, I feel like we had a ton of stuff in common, both did multiple combat tours, both served in the 3rd Infantry Division. Um, a lot of our awards and decorations are similar or the same. Um, 
<laughs> I didn't get nearly what he did, but um, but it's, it is an honor and a privilege to have served in some of the same units that he served in, um, and serve in combat in some of the same units that he served in, and uh, just all the history and everything that you get to see in here. You can see his uniform that he wore in World War II. You see some of the the war medals that he brought back, and I'm talking about uh, like guns and knives and bayonets that he brought back that he confiscated from, you know, like war trophies from you know Germans that he killed and you can see his Medal of Honor is here on display uh, it talks about a lot of his awards and achievements a lot of the stuff was his personal life too but um, what interests me the most is the is the combat stuff the war stuff the stuff he did in the military all the stuff he did after was very um, interesting with the movies and the songs and the poems and all that stuff so I kind of feel like we connected that way too because you know after my military service now here I am on YouTube and social media which is kind of the equivalent of what he he did there was no, none of that back then so he kind of went to Hollywood and did that so not a good comparison as far as you know YouTube versus Hollywood star but you know uh, being on camera and being on uh, on YouTube is uh, it's helped me a lot deal with my PTSD as it helped him deal with his what they called combat fatigue back then. Um, so it was an outlet for him as it is, it is an outlet for me too. So I feel like we have a lot of uh, connection and being a member of the Audie Murphy Club just solidifies that connection even more. So very surreal and serene for me to be here. Can't wait to show you some more of this. Well, even though we're here for the Audie Murphy Museum, it is a cotton museum too. Yes. And it does talk about all the cotton stuff. And then Greenville, which yeah, is the town, the town we're in. where the museum is, it talks a lot about the history. So we'll show you a little bit of that too. Yeah. But the main focus is Audie Murphy. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Get your hair done? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I was asking her how it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a dollar for curl. That's that's high dollar hairdo right there. That'd be expensive nowadays, then. Yeah. I can't believe the perms. That's how you got a perm. Oh man. Well, that was fun. fun. That was fun for me, yeah. anyway. I mean, it was interesting. I already knew like a lot, a lot yeah. about Audie Murphy. Yeah. So it was like more of like a reminder for yeah, me of like, stuff. You get away from that stuff, you forget yeah. how much you really knew. But um, man, just interesting. His life in general was interesting. He was fascinating. He yeah. did so much. Yeah. And, um, and it sucks that you go through all that. You survive so much through war. You go and have a Hollywood career and die in a plane crash. Sad. Yeah, it, that was that was pretty tragic. But um, anyway, um, worth coming out here to Greenville, yes. out to the museum. Um, it is the Cotton Museum and Audie Murphy Museum, yeah. but it does give you some insight into what his childhood was like. In Greenville, living on yeah. a cotton farm, yeah. being the son of a sharecropper, mm -hmm. all the hard work, living in a box car. That blew my mind. Um, and you know it's super hot in the summer and yeah. super cold in the, in the winter. 
Um, we did uh, take the opportunity to purchase a paver. Yes. Uh, they had uh, an opportunity out there. So out there where the, the monument the statue, is, yeah. the statue, uh, you can purchase a paver. And you get like three lines to personalize it. Yeah. And once they get that engraved, they'll put that in the ground. Uh, don't know exact timeline on that she yet. She said it takes a while. But it's cool. We'll be in good company. Uh, I think yeah. their audience sister was out there on Cousins. a paver. Cousins. Um, yeah. Audie Murphy Club Lots members. of just military people. Yeah, and then some local people wars. from yeah. Greenville who just uh, are Audie Murphy fans or knew the family or were connected to the family. So yeah. I'll be in good company out there. Yeah. And uh, so I put my name and my rank and that I'm a Sergeant Audie Murphy Club member. So yeah. it will forever be out there. So if you're in Greenville, right. look for our paver <laughs> yeah. uh, with my name on it. Very cool. And thank you to Greg and Shelly from Dave's yes. Great Adventure. Um, uh, in honor of my service, they offered to pay for half, half of, of that this. paver. So yeah. thank you guys so much yeah, for that. that. We sweet. really appreciate it. Didn't have to do that. No. But um, it does mean a lot yeah. that you did that. So thank you for that. Um, at the end of every video, we honor a fallen mm -hmm. hero. And I think it would be only fitting to honor Audie himself yeah. at the end of this video Logical. because he was a hero. And although he did not die in combat, um, he was the most decorated war hero in our history. So yeah. I feel that it's pretty fitting to honor Audie Murphy yeah. at the end of the video. So stick around for a few seconds. Help us honor Audie Murphy. And uh, if you want to help us help vets as we travel across the country, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. We hope you enjoyed hanging out with us at the museum. We had a really yeah. great time. It was fun. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.